How's it going everybody? Today we're gonna be talking about the levels of gamblers. Jumping straight into it, the first level is fake gambling. Playing RNG games on Roblox, using fake money for buy-ins, anything where there's no real money involved, uh, basically where it's less fun. There's nothing at stake, which is why it's the first level of gambling. It's the introductory stage. This is where you're warming up to, uh, to the whole idea of gambling everything away. It's also the least fun kind. Um, nothing is at stake, it, there's no fun to be had here. If you're currently fake gambling, you're either small, this is regular, small little child, or you're an aspiring gambler trying to learn the game, just looking to improve before hitting the real tables. Let's be real though, if you're sitting around fake gambling, it's time to man the fuck up. Let's move on to stage two. Level two is real gambling. Once you start throwing down some real money, you're gonna have some real fun, trust me. Whether it's opening Pokemon cards, CSGO cases, or, you know, playing poker with some sophisticated relatives at the, the family gathering. Uh, it's, it's starting to get awesome. It's getting a lot of fun. This level is probably the most temporary level as the in-between. Uh, you know, level one is, is pretty long because you're kind of deciding if you're willing to invest into the gambling lifestyle. Level two is kind of that, uh... It's kind of the midpoint where you're already in it, so you might as well just go all the way to level three. You'll mainly want to move to level three once you realize the more money you throw down, the more fun it gets. That's just how gambling works. Think about it like this. Think, think real quick like this. One $10,000 hand on a game of blackjack or 10 $1,000 hands on a game of blackjack. Which one's, which one's going to make you more money? The 10,000, it just moves faster. It's just more money. It's more money maker. Making more money maker faster is the essence of level three. College tuitions are at stake now. The urge to take a little drive over to the casino daily is becoming too strong at this level. You might as well just fucking live there. I mean, let's be honest. You're either always going there or you're never leaving. So, on the one hand, you might lose a fuck ton of money. But... On the other hand, think about all that money you can make or could get back and then some on top of that. When you're at this stage, you're just going to be thinking about taking out more and more deposits on money. But that's kind of a good thing if you think about it, because eventually you're going to hit big. That's just it's statistically improbable that you never hit big. Gambling at all is the most fun that you will ever have. And at this level, there's only two outcomes. Ending one, the good ending. Mm -hmm. This outcome is 99% guaranteed success. Pretty good odds if you ask me. In, in this scenario, you're gonna beat the casino. You're gonna beat the casino for everything they have, all their money. And you're gonna take your winnings to a remote island, get some babes. Sounds pretty good to me. And you know, just live out the rest of your life in the comfort of your mega mansion. And you know, you can gamble like uh, online too, I guess, if you wanted to gamble some more. Ending two, in this ending, it's not gonna happen, but you would run out of everything you have and go into a lot of debt. There is a way to get out of this scenario though. The only way to get out of this scenario, all the debt that you've that you've incurred, is you gotta start back from, from stage one, right? Go back to the fake gambling, relearn the game, get your strats up, move the money up higher and higher until eventually you're back at the top. You gamble it all and you make it. You make it. That's it. There you go. Bye.